Hey guys, Nolan from Four Player Network here with Crispy. Hey, what's going on, Nolan? Um, so we're here at PAX East 2014. Yep. And uh, there's a lot of good games here. We've seen a lot so far, and it's only like halfway through the first day. Yeah. Um, I would say, how would you say the progression of video games has evolved? Hmm. Well, I can't speak on the industry as a whole, but I think we definitely saw the evolution of multiplayer today in... Evolve. <laughs> oh, Evolve. Yes, we played that. Um, so, Crispy and I got to play Evolve. Um, it's pretty intense. It was pretty crazy. I, I didn't really quite know what to expect going into it, but I was definitely impressed by what we played. I, th I think all we had seen was just that intro like video to the game to yeah. kind of just explain the generic, you know, what the game was about. And that's all we really saw, too, when they when they, they took us behind closed doors and they showed us a video. And the video was very similar to what we had originally seen. Right. Just kind right. of explaining, uh, you know, there's four different characters. You have uh, there are the hunters. And you have, like, a medic, a support. Yeah, we have a, um, a, trapper, a trapper and an assault. An assault. And they yeah. each have their own unique abilities. Right. Uh, you know, assault does a lot of damage. Uh, trappers, trappers actually, traps. like, yeah, tries to impede the progress of the monster. Mm -hmm. Medic heals everybody. As you might imagine. What does the support do? Uh, the support, um, what did he do? He uh, he actually threw down traps, I think. He had a few different traps. His big thing is he carries a shield gun as well. Uh, okay. So he can shield other people from the monster, but he cannot shield himself. Okay. So I don't really know a whole lot about the hunters because I played as the Goliath monster. Yeah. And let me tell you, I won. I won good. You did, but it was not close by any means. I know. It was, it was so far from close, <laughs> I just killed them. Mm. Yeah. No, so I think I think and then that comes down to like one of the reasons I like playing like The Last of Us is teamwork. And oh, I yeah. noticed that your team didn't have a whole lot of teamwork. And I'm not putting that on you. No. I'm putting that on the other guys. No, there was there was one particular guy who was playing our support who uh, was very bad about sticking with the team and kind of ended up being a weak link. I kept getting um, them. So that, and then that's the thing about this game. So, uh, you know, involved you have the four hunters against the one monster. And in this case, all we've seen so far is the Goliath, and right. that's who I played. Right. So uh, when the game starts, he's, he's uh, apparently a decent size, um, but the goal for the Goliath is to eat other monsters that are in the environment to become larger so you can become more powerful. Mm -hmm. And so if you if you come into contact with the hunters very early on, right. you, you don't have a whole... I'm pretty vulnerable. Exactly. Yeah, you you yeah. are. Uh, also, it's the fact that you have limited abilities. And this is one of the things I like is the so far from what we've seen, uh, the monster or the Goliath has four abilities, but at the beginning of the game, you only have three loadout points. So you can only right. choose three of them, or you could actually put all of your loadout points into one ability. And just have one superpowered like, Exactly. Attack. And so the more you evolve, the better those abilities become. Yeah. And so the goal is to find creatures and eat them, uh, similar to almost like Primal Carnage, if you ever played that. Right, uh, right, The right, right. dinosaurs had to eat other creatures to gain health. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. that, but in this case, you don't regain health. You just regain, like, a shield, and then you get more pods. And once you fill up your, like, circular pond thing, you can evolve. Which you can use to increase your power. Exactly. Like that, yeah. But when you evolve, you become vulnerable in the sense that you have to go into this metamorphosis cocoon for, like, 30 seconds. Right. And if the hunters come upon you in that time, I don't. that never happened to me, so I don't know. But no. I assume yeah, they we can were, just yeah, destroy we were trying. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's the whole point too. Is like it actually lets you know when the creature is like getting oh, it ready does. to it evolve. You know. Yeah, yeah, and then um, you, the hunters are kind of scrambling to find the the cocoon to take it out. Um, on the hunter side of things, I was kind of expecting this just to be a bit of a rehash of like Left for Dead. Mm -hmm. um, pleasantly surprised that it was not that. Yeah, it was actually much more tactics and team based than Left for Dead. I mean, Left for Dead is pretty important to stick together, oh, but definitely. everyone's basically doing the same thing. You all have guns. You're all shooting zombies. Everyone's carrying like med packs and healing each other and things like that. Um, this game is balanced very differently in that everyone has very specific roles with very specific abilities and uh, minute-to-minute -minute objectives that they're trying to do. Um, so, for instance, I was playing as the medic on our team. Um, the medic was actually pretty interesting compared to other class-based games with a medic in that they weren't just a healer. They had uh, nice little debuff abilities that they could use on the monster. For instance, uh, that was the only character that carried a sniper rifle. Mm -hmm. um, I, and really, that, I really liked what they did with the sniper yeah, rifle. Yeah, and the sniper rifle, whenever, uh, whenever the medic hits the monster, um, it actually highlights a weak point where that bullet hits, and then any of that medic's teammates who shoot those points deal extra damage to the monster there. Mm. Um, also had access to a tranquilizer gun, which which slows down the monster and highlights it on uh, the HUD for all the other players to find. So it's that's a really good tracking weapon. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course the typical uh, the typical like med gun sort of thing, healing players, yeah. um, doing AOE heal effects. 
Um, so so I re- uh, one of the things I actually yeah. was really interested in finding out more about, and we got to in this playthrough, is uh, the Trapper was yeah. able to set up like a dome. Um, yeah, and the so portable it, arena, I believe yeah, they and so it. it's yeah. actually, w- w- one thing I found out was it's not a dome, it's actually a sphere, because he set it up near a cliff, because they actually, and that's one of the things we talked about, is these yeah. levels are very vertical. There's a lot of verticality yeah. to them. Surprisingly so, Because, yes. one thing, the uh, monster can jump very high, and also climb up walls, and then the and hunters... And all the hunters have jetpacks jet that packs. they can use. Yeah. It's pretty fun. And so, uh, the trapper, he throws down his dome, and it was funny, though, because at one point he did that, but he was... All by himself. Yeah. And so I kind of said under my breath that, you know, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> and then I just started wrecking his ass. Like, I was just, like, slashing and slashing. And the problem was he was by Crazy. himself. And so he couldn't do anything about it. And so, you know, I, I got him in a corner and I was hitting him. And then I, uh, they, one of my attacks was like a flamethrower breath. And I started just flaming him and attacking him. And then he could try. And he was just done. Yeah. Like, done. And so the one thing is... Is that I mean that's the problem too is like uh, I believe on the dome once hen- once hunters enter it they can't leave it they no. have to wait for it to to deactivate yeah. so if you're alone and you're a trapper and you throw down a dome and you trap yourself in there with the monster and your teammates aren't anywhere around you're kind of fucked yeah which is what happened to us a lot yeah so one of the things I noticed the hunters actually have a lot of health mm-hmm. or at least they, they once they go down they can get back up and is it like a well, shield or how does that I was work? doing a really good job of healing everybody that might have so. been why <laughs> that, no that, that honestly might have been why because I noticed I would take them down and it's kind of like they're in like a more vulnerable state yeah they did have shields and then they did have um, a health bar okay. and then there is like a uh, there is a down state or whatever but I think if a character is down three times they're automatically just dead and they have to wait for the next drop ship to come I through see. so and that's um, what happens is once you die you're not out, you just have to wait two, a two-minute respawn time right. to get back in. Right. And so uh, I think there's... I, I don't know what the hunter's goal was. It was just to trap and kill the yeah, Goliath? Yeah, it was, it was just kill the monster. Okay, so yeah. actually I had I had two ways I could win. One was to take out all of the hunters. Right. Or I could, there was a generator I was trying to destroy. Right, it was like a fusion plant generator that yeah. once you get level three, you could go exactly. wreck up. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, that actually I won by taking out all of the hunters. Um, I tried to take out the generator, but I, uh, I was attacked while, and that's when I, I finished right. off the hunters. Right. Um, but Evolve looks like a great game. And one of the things we don't know about is they said there's multiple other monsters you can be, right. lots of different levels, lots of different classes for the hunters. There's a lot we don't know about there, there are different. There are different characters for each class, each with their own abilities. For instance, the... The, like the medic that I was playing today had that heal gun, but she's the only medic in the game with that heal gun. There are other methods for healing that we don't know about yet, um, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. No, definitely. I, I had a great I'm, time. I'm looking that. forward to finding out more about it. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say about Evolve? No, I just... I can't, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, thanks, guys. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to 4PlayerNetwork.com for more news on PAX East 2014. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>